What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers Report. And if this is your first time watching, thank you for clicking on the video and make sure to subscribe because I'm your number one source for all things Texas Rangers related on YouTube. I have you covered into uh, the regular season, covering the Texas Rangers, but also covering the draft and in the off season as well. Um, we are at 530 subscribers of just Texas Rangers fans and also if you um, are on discord make sure to join the discord that link will be in the description down below um, basically we just talk Rangers there 24 7 um, but obviously there's the rumors surrounding Willie Calhoun the former prized Dodgers prospect that was in the U Darvish trade but I think we have to start thinking that this Rangers team is gonna see start seeing some turnover i believe P prospects are balling out in triple a like josh smith uh bubba thompson leody Tavares, and there's some guys that are struggling at the major leagues most notably marcus simeon and cole calhoun obviously you're gonna ride it out with marcus simeon he's only 30 31 years old you gave him the seven year deal but on the other hand cole calhoun He's never been an all-star. I think the only accolade he has in his trophy case is a gold glove. He's 34 years old. You gave him a one-year deal with um, a $1 million buyout next year. I honestly wonder if the Rangers are starting to think, could this Philly series be his last series? I don't know. Potentially, potentially, Leody Tavares would be the most notable call-up, but I think the Willie Calhoun move by the Texas Rangers is is i don't know the exact word but it draws some um signals in my mind saying the rangers aren't just gonna sit around and get bad results so obviously the rangers aren't really gonna be tied to cole calhoun for um ever they weren't tied to willie calhoun for forever obviously you're going to stick with marcus simeon he's been an all-star a two-time uh mvp finalist so you really hope that he can turn around. I think he can. He's been a slow starter in the past, but the question is, would you rather have Cole Calhoun playing right field for the Texas Rangers? He's been in a platoon situation. He still provides pretty solid defense, I believe, and a veteran leadership, but his bat has been terrible. I think from a war perspective, he's been one of the worst players on the Rangers with a negative 0 0.5 war. Um, and then second to him has been Marcus Simeon with a negative 0 0.4 and Spencer Howard also has a negative 0 0.5 but he's a triple A right now so easily Cole Calhoun has been the worst player on the Texas Rangers they have tried different things like putting him in the leadoff spot and we're like what is Chris Woodward doing I do think that is just to try to build up some confidence I, it worked for one game he went two for four but he has been the worst player if you were to just designate him for assignment you have to eat five million this year and then you have to take that one million um buyout as well so that'd be a total of six million that you're willing to eat but i'm thinking sure that's that, that six million isn't really that much in the grand scheme of thing but also you get to see what you have in leody Tavares, and yeah, I've seen Leody Tavares rake in the minors like last season. You called him up, didn't do much. But what I'm thinking is that he can't be as bad as what Cole Calhoun is doing right now. Also, he'd provide um, speed uh, as a pinch runner. So that's a plus over Cole Calhoun. I think he'd be a better defender over Cole Calhoun. Has more potential over Cole Calhoun. I don't know if he has much more to prove in the minor leagues. I, I do think it could make sense if the Rangers were to keep him down a little bit to work on some stuff, but I think the time is coming soon. You could make an argument for Josh Smith, um, but he's still new to AAA. He didn't have much time in AA. You can make an argument for Bubba Thompson, but I think Leody Tavares is the one that is the most ready. But also, remember, he is a switch hitter, so obviously switch hitters are better at like one side over the other but i think he provides a good um versatility for the rangers just like jonah heim because you can use jonah heim versus right-handed pitching you can use him versus left-handed pitching i think leody Tavares brings the same um situation for the texas rangers so 
I think this is the question. Um, would you rather have Cole Calhoun or Leody Tavares for the Texas Rangers? And obviously, if you were to make this move, you'd call, you'd call up Leody. That's pretty easy, but it's not as simple as just moving Cole Calhoun to the minor leagues because he is all out of options. So you would have to DF, you have to designate him for assignment. So then you'd have seven days to either trade him um, or another team could claim him off waivers or and if the team claims him off waivers, they'd have to take his entire contract. Um, a team may do that, but probably not because if a team's interested, they'd probably just want to um, wait till he's released and then get him for a cheaper deal. Um, or if he's not traded or claimed off waivers, then they would release him. And since he is a free a veteran with all this experience, he's most likely not going to accept an outright assignment to Triple A. Um, granted, this is all speculation. We could Cole Calhoun could turn it around, turn it around. I really don't think so. Um, he has been good in the past with the Angels, but I think he is way past his prime. Hopefully, he turns it around. But I do think the time is uh, taking for. Cole Calhoun and I've kind of been right about this stuff in the past I knew Willie Calhoun's time was running out with the Rangers and I was right about that he was sent down to AAA he wants to trade I did a live stream on that yesterday I was saying that Nick Solak's time has been running out and he's been reduced to platoon role he's actually done pretty decent and at that so far but let me know what you think in the comment section down below should the Rangers designate Cole Calhoun for assignment let him wait a little bit see if he can turn around or bring up um, uh, Leo de Tavares. The Rangers are going to be having a little bit of a roster crunch. Um, remember, we'll still get Jose LeClerc back um, and Jonathan Hernandez back in about a month or two. So those are two guys you have to add to the 40-man roster. Um, so Cole Calhoun could be a roster cut. So could Demarcus Evans. So could Colby Allard. So just some names to uh, think about obviously Willie Calhoun could be a roster cut as well because he wants to be trade so let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one peace